Something very shocking has just been unearthed by the Lagina brothers in the renowned Oak Island Money Pit, and the researchers were forced to stop the site excavation. Could this finally be Oak Island's life-changing mysterious treasure? You won't believe what they just discovered as the U.S. shuts down further research on Oak Island after this discovery. The extraordinary geologists Terry Matheson and Charles Barkhouse were glued to their chairs as they watched the DN 11.5 borehole with the same level of vigilance as the Hawks. Their purpose was to reach the possible gold mine zone that was buried at a depth that ranged from 80 to 120 feet underneath the surface. As the drilling machine proceeded to dig further into the ground, the team gathered around it, their eyes wild with excitement. They were racing against the clock. Then, as if out of nowhere, Mike Tedford, the master of the drilling operation, revealed a shocking revelation. It was at the 90-foot mark that he hit something. In spite of the fact that he did not technically strike gold, you get the notion. Charles and Terry were naturally pleased on account of the fact that this was a game-changer, and their minds were racing with concepts of potential outcomes, because they were eager to determine whether or not Mike had, in fact, discovered a hollow space that was 90 feet below ground level. They assaulted him with inquiries. How about this? It was confirmed by Mike. A large amount of unoccupied space may be found down there. It was a revelation that blew their minds, and they were aware that they were dealing with something of enormous importance. Charles suggested that they need to immediately contact Rick and Marty, who are the specialists in the field. They moved quickly as a team. After receiving a call from Charles, Rick and Marty presented themselves with a great deal of enthusiasm. Considering that they were drilling in the same location where the treasure might be, Rick was really excited. I can only imagine how thrilled he was. On the other hand, this treasure zone, which was tucked away within DN 11.5, was not a typical location. Quite literally, it was a gold mine just waiting to be discovered. For example, high gold values, a large number of air pockets, and an abundance of voids. Keeping things straightforward, they gave it a name that was aptly derived from its locations, right? Rick got his crew together to discuss the most recent events that had occurred. Everyone was curious about the tale that led to this incredible discovery in the Oak Island Money Pit. It was the question that everyone was thinking about. It is, without a doubt, not some ordinary discovery. According to the account that Mike Tedford provided, he felt the rods burst through something while he was roughly 90 feet deep. Regardless of what it was, it appeared as though it had disappeared into a void approximately 1.5 feet beyond his reach. Can you believe the excitement that they felt at that very moment? They were ecstatic to the point of being completely overjoyed. However, this is where things take an intriguing turn for the better. Terry, who was as sharp as a tack, observed that the coordinates for DN 11.5, DN 12.5, and 13.5 were all exactly aligned from east to west. Even more perplexing is the possibility that they are a component of a building that is concealed 94 feet below the surface of the body of water. Along with DN 12.5 and DN 13.5, this alignment game also included players. As a result, the most important thing that everyone was thinking about was whether or not they had discovered another piece of this structure and whether or not it was connected to the gold that they found in the vicinity. The only thing that mattered was putting the pieces of the puzzle together and determining whether or not Terry's intuition was accurate. This was as important as it could possibly be. The scientific evidence that was presented can be used to support the conclusion that a positive conclusion is possible. The issue, on the other hand, is that they were unable to rely solely on their intuition in order to present proof in agreement with their assertion. Charles did not waste a single second before grabbing for the phone and calling Rick and Marty after the crew understood that they were in total accord with one another. Within a short period of time, the Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty, arrived at the location. Within, Within a, a short, short period, period of time, the Lagina, Lagina brothers, Rick, Rick and Marty, Marty arrived at the, at the location. location. Rick in particular was brimming with excitement and expectation on that particular day and it was because of the Money Pit drill program that he was participating in. Due to the fact that the coordinates provided by DN 11.5 placed them smack dab in the middle of a treasure zone, the rush of excitement that was coursing through their body was palpable. In spite of the fact that it was hidden away in a convenient position, DN 11.5 was anything from a usual location for this treasure zone. 
The literal and figurative senses of the word gold mine are both accurate descriptions of the location in Quebec. Take into account the incredibly high gold values, the presence of air pockets, and the voids that are present in large quantities. In an effort to simplify things as much as possible, they decided to give it a name that was expressly derived from its locations. In order to discuss the most recent occurrences that had taken place, Rick called a meeting of his team to discuss the information. The story that led to this remarkable find in the Oak Island Money Pit attracted the attention of everyone interested in the subject. At that moment, everyone was pondering the question that was being asked. Immediately upon its inception, it became abundantly evident that this was not going to be your typical find. After reaching a depth of approximately 90 feet, Mike Tedford reported that he felt the drilling rods burst through something. This information was mentioned in the report that he supplied. It appeared as though whatever it was had disappeared into the distance at a distance that was approximately 1.5 feet beyond its reach. They were so joyful, to the point of being ecstatic about the situation. Nevertheless, this is the point at which the story takes an intriguing turn that is exciting to follow. Terry, who is well known for his keen ability to observe, is the one who made the observation that the coordinates DN 11.5, DN 12.5, and DN 13.5 were perfectly aligned from east to west. Taking into consideration the idea that they are possibly a component of a building that is concealed 94 feet below the surface is an addition to the excitement that they already present. Furthermore, DN 12.5 and DN 13.5 were the ones who were responsible for the success of this alignment. Consequently, the most significant thing that everyone was thinking about was whether or not they had discovered another section of this structure, and whether or not it was connected in any way to the gold that they had discovered in the vicinity. The challenge consisted of putting together this intricate jigsaw puzzle and gaining an understanding of whether or not Terry's intuition was correct. It was abundantly evident that the scientific data that they had gathered was pointing in the right direction, and this assertion was supported by a clear sign. On the other hand, there was a catch to it. It was not possible for them to rely solely on their intuition in order to provide proof that would support their hypothesis. The exciting scientific report is ready to be presented. The atmosphere in the room was filled with both tension and optimism as the group finally gathered together to hear the findings that they had been waiting for for a very long period. They were able to collect data that were in complete agreement with their expectations after doing an XRF analysis on DN 11.5 and obtaining the results. Emma, who is an extraordinarily gifted archaeometallurgy specialist, arrived at an intriguing conclusion after spending a significant amount of time performing comprehensive research. The structure that they discovered was something that could only be characterized as a tunnel under any circumstances. An XRF spectrometer was used to conduct an analysis on a sample of dry wood that was gathered along the route. This was done so that they could get a more comprehensive grasp of the discovery which was made. And what do you think they actually found? There was evidence of the normal materials that are found on Oak Island that Emma discovered. The elements iron, manganese, titanium, calcium, potassium, and aluminum are all known. The results were analyzed with great care, and she did not overlook any possible explanations. On the other hand, this is when things took an interesting turn. Unexpectedly, they came across a weird occurrence, gold. The excitement that they felt was beyond anything that they could have possibly anticipated when they found out that the piece of wood that they were inspecting contained evidence of this rare metal. In order to determine whether or not the presence of gold was, in fact, an abnormality in the results, the team couldn't help but have an honest chat with Emma about the matter. Within the findings that she was presenting to the team, Emma confirmed with a joyful giggle that gold was, in fact, the anomaly that stood out from the data that was all around it. Following the completion of more examination on the sample, they came across something that completely blew their minds. It was presumed that the quantity of gold that was contained within it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.04% of the total weight. Can you believe that? Now that is one very shocking discovery. As a consequence of possessing this information, shock waves were transmitted throughout the crew when they took into consideration the reality that the sample was simply a little randomly picked slice of what they had discovered. It led them to a supposition that was both enticing and exciting. 
It is possible that a large quantity of gold is hidden within the discovery that they made. Rick was unable to avoid coming to the conclusion that these your findings could very well be the key to locating the wealth that had been missing for a very long time. The more new data that was brought to light, the more optimistic they were. Their optimism reached whole new levels. Furthermore, this is the point at which things begin to take on a really intriguing character. The team was able to study not just one, but two exciting areas of development as a result of the discoveries that were uncovered, both wood and water. It was like getting a double dose of curiosity all at once, a finding that is revolutionary. It was not just the 0.04% gold concentration in the sample that made it so compelling. Moreover, there were other factors that came into play. One of the fundamental ideas that underpinned this hypothesis was the possibility that they had discovered an important piece of information that could steer them in the proper direction as they continued their journey. In a word, the study offered facts to back up their fears, which elevated their level of anticipation even higher. The chunk of wood that they studied contained a variety of characteristics that are not typical of wood. The presence of gold was unmistakable in it. It was a moment of breakthrough for them, comparable to a signpost that pointed them directly to the riches that had been buried all along. Following what seemed like a lengthy and difficult trip, the gang was finally in possession of solid evidence that their efforts had not been in vain because they had been successful. It was almost as if you could feel their happiness permeating the air. They admitted that the laboratory was not likely to be the only place where the answers could be located. Rick was gracious enough to remind everyone that they needed to continue on with the process of collecting samples and doing analyses. They had made up their minds to investigate every possible avenue. They were aware that the answers they were looking for, information that could point them in the direction of the secret riches that was buried beneath the garden shaft, could be discovered through both scientific inquiry and their own personal exploration. Their journey to Oak Island, where they were looking for treasure, had always been an exciting and exciting experience full with expectation. Every new discovery and void that they came across gave them renewed hope that one day, they would be able to uncover the profound truths that the island possessed. They were filled with hope that one day they would be able to unravel the secrets that the island held. Every new discovery that the crew uncovered only served to strengthen their determination to unravel the mystery and unearth the legendary treasures that they had been searching for. Even though they were well aware that a large number of others had attempted to accomplish the same thing before them and had been unsuccessful, this did not dampen their enthusiasm over the endeavor. Passion and an unwavering conviction that they would be the ones to uncover Oak Island's mysteries were the driving forces behind their decision to embark on a quest toward which they were resolute in their determination to succeed. As they continued on their journey, they were coming closer and closer to accomplishing that elusive goal to which they had been working. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it so far. The Lagina brothers and their industrious team are making progress, and they are on the verge of making the most profound discovery possible. They have finally arrived to the point when they are able to get the treasure of Oak Islands, and they cannot wait to finally have the opportunity to discover this wealth. Well, big kudos to them as the Lagina brothers keep discovering amazing items that could finally lead to the Oak Island treasure. One could say the team continues to search the Oak Island with unwavering spirit, whether they face disappointments or not. Want to know more? Click on the next video now.